Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode I decided to show you how to make zucchini pancakes. I'm gonna call it that. They're not sweet, they're with vegetables and cheese, you will see. So let's start with the ingredients. So the first things I'm gonna show you are the things you're going to need for sort of the sauce you're gonna be using with the pancakes. So you're gonna need some sour cream and this is 35% I believe fat sour cream. You don't need to buy this fat but this one actually tastes really really good. So sour cream, just a few cloves of peeled garlic, as well as some dill, or if you prefer, you can use parsley. So that's just for the sauce to go with your pancakes. Now to make the pancakes, you're going to need some zucchini. So I'm going to use one today. One egg, a slice of cheddar cheese. I prefer to use cheddar cheese. You can use other cheeses like mozzarella if you prefer. But I'm going to use cheddar cheese and this is about 50 grams for one zucchini. You're also going to need some salt and some pepper, just black pepper. And the very last thing, you're just going to need one tablespoon of just any kind of all-purpose flour. This is just white original flour, but you can probably use any other flour that you like. This is a pretty healthy recipe as well. We will be pan frying this, but in some kind of nice oil like avocado oil or olive oil. But they're very, very delicious and you serve them with the sour cream sauce that we're going to make today. So to start, let's actually make the sauce. So I'm just going to open the sour cream. And I'm just going to put some into a little dish. And like I said, this is a very fast sour cream. So as you can see, this is very thick. So just some sour cream there. Now let's go ahead and cut up this dill and we're going to add it to the sour cream. And like I mentioned, the sour cream is high in fat, so it's a little bit hard to mix just because it is so thick. But the next thing you want to do is we're going to add just some cloves of garlic to this. So I think I'll do just one big one for now. And you just want to mix this and just leave it on the side and we'll work on the pancake mix. Okay, so for the pancake mix, make sure you have a little bowl where you can place your zucchini. But let's start with actually shredding the cheese. And I'm going to use the smaller size, so like a medium kind of grate. So I think this slice is slightly bigger than 50 grams. So I'm just going to leave some on the side for now. I think this should be enough cheese for one zucchini. Okay, now let's work on our zucchini. And actually, let's place the cheese into a bowl where we're going to be mixing all these things together. Okay, so for the zucchini, you want to cut off the ends. We don't need those. And you want to peel your zucchini, and I'm just using a potato peeler to do that. The reason I have a separate bowl where I'm going to be placing the zucchini after I grate it is just so some of the liquid we can squeeze out of the zucchini so it is less watery. Now using the large side of the grater, we're just going to grate the zucchini. Okay, like I said, place this grated zucchini into a separate bowl for now. We want to remove some of the excess liquid. Let's also go ahead and turn on our stove top to just high set it, just so the pan warms up and then I'll show you how to finish making this and I'll show you how to pan fry them. So what I'm also going to do is just start add some avocado oil to the pan. Then we're going to let it start warming up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the zucchini and you're going to go ahead and squeeze out some of the liquid and then place it with the cheese. Okay, so now let's add some salt and pepper to taste. You're also going to crack one egg in here. And just take a fork and break up the egg and mix this mixture really well together. And now the very last thing you want to do is add about a tablespoon of flour. 
Just so the mixture is more dry and sticks better together when you're cooking. So I now put it to medium high heat and I'm actually going to put it on medium heat and we're going to be cooking on pretty much medium heat. So just make sure you mix this really well together so that all ingredients incorporate. And we can go over to the stove top and cook these. We're going to take a tablespoon, put some, and then just flatten it out a little bit. And lower your heat even more. Once they become golden on one side, you just flip them over and cook on the other side. They are pretty quick to cook, and really all you need to make sure that cooks is the egg, so you don't cook for too long. So now we'll just cook them on the other side until they finish cooking, and then I'm just going to remove them from the stove top and place it on the plate, and like always show you the final result. Okay everyone, so after cooking them for maybe a total of 8 to 10 minutes, so like 4 or 5 minutes per side, depending on your stove top and of course your, pen, your frying pan, um, they're now ready. As you can see the color, they're golden, like kind of even brownish a little bit, and that's mainly because of the cheese. The cheese of course melted, you know how the cheese gets crusted and it smells amazing like the crusted cheese. So let's see up close. So these are zucchini pancakes. So they have zucchini, cheese, egg, flour, and just salt and pepper to taste. And we made a mixture of sour cream sauce that you can see at the beginning of the video because they taste really good when you dip a piece of that into the sour cream sauce that we created. And I hope you try and make these. These actually serve as a whole meal. They're very, very filling. So usually you can have just this for your meal with a side of a salad. I hope you try them out. I hope you enjoy them. And thank you so much for watching, like always. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.